Son 
of the living God. Hallelujah. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. We got to count the cost. Hallelujah. Because it is a cost. Do you know it's a cost? Yeah. To follow Jesus. Yeah. 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 In the name of Jesus. Just like pastors say, we win. Hallelujah. We win, we win, we yes. win again. Hallelujah. We win in the name of Jesus. Yes. We are victorious in the name of Jesus. Yes. In the name of Jesus, victory belongs to Jesus. In yes. the name of Jesus. And it belongs to Jesus, it belongs to us. Amen. So we are victorious. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So we honor God this morning. Amen. We honor him this morning. We yes. know his presence is in this place. Yes. Hallelujah. Because I can feel it. Hallelujah. Even when I walk through the door. Yes. Hallelujah. I can feel the presence. Hallelujah. Yes. Oh, Jesus, hallelujah. Yes, we honor him on this day. Amen. In the name of Jesus. None like him. Yes. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And we glorify him. Testament. And at this moment. Testament. At this time. We're going to make room, hallelujah, yes. for testimony. Yes, Lord. If the Lord have done anything, hallelujah, yes. if he have done anything for you, if he have did anything for you, if he mean anything, yes. somebody ought to testify, hallelujah. Yes. And we're going to have testimony service at this time because we are overcome by the words of our testimony, hallelujah, and the blood of Jesus Christ. So at this moment, the floor is open for testimony, hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. One or two in the green, touching the green, he'd be there in the midst. It's not about the crowd. Amen. Amen. The crowd said, crucify Jesus. I'm not worried when I come to church. I'm not worried about who ate him. I'm no. worried because when I go before God, <coughs> when I go before God, you're not going to be there. Amen. You're not, you're not. I love my pastor and I love my pastor, but neither Amen. one of those, them are going to be there. With me, when I stand before God to be judged, you're going to be by yourself. Yes. Your son not going to be there. Your, your, your son, your daughter not going to be there. They got to go for themselves. Yes. So you can't worry about a crowd. Right. And I learned that you can't worry. Hang on, my leaders and son. You can't be worried about who ain't there. You can't worry about that. Because when you go to the grave, who's going to go to the grave with you? You go by yourself. My so first I do give on to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I want to give honor to my overseer, Apostle Davis, yes. as well as my pastor, Pastor Davis, and the Asset, Preacher Outreach Ministry, amen, in the body of Christ and all the Preacher family. Because yes. we are all one big family from amen. Georgia to Carolina. Amen. And we all one big family. Amen. But I just thank God for another day, yes. another opportunity. He allowed me to yes. be in the house of the Lord. He allowed me to wake up this morning. Yes. Amen. Yes. I could have went to bed last night. Could be my last time. My amen. Who we don't know. We don't amen. Know. So when God, when you're able to wake up in the morning before my foot hit the floor, this is the God on the truth. I said, Lord, thank you for allowing me to wake up this morning. Once I complete that, that's when I put my foot on the floor. Yeah. I do not stand up and tell God, I said, Lord, I want to honor and thank him for yeah. letting me see another day. Hallelujah. You know, I'm in the window sleep last night. Didn't want to wake up this morning. Yeah. Many across the world. I'm saying that for if God allow you to wake up me, tell him thank you. Yeah. Don't act like you so good in two shoes. Because like Pastor say, Pastor David said, my pastor say, it ain't nothing but a little puff. Once that puff gone, it's over with. Yes, Lord. And you better not leave this earth My without Lord. Jesus. You My mess Lord. around and leave this earth without Jesus. You can't come back and ask for forgiveness. You can't come back and get saved. My you Lord. better have it right before the eyelids are shut and the puff be gone. But I just thank God for my life. I thank you for my health. I thank you for strength. I thank you for wisdom, y'all. Yes. And I thank you for knowledge. And like yes. my pastor share, I thank you for understanding of his word that I don't lack the knowledge and the truth of the word, but I know it. Amen. This is my life. When I was in the world, part of Shante, I did it well because I was a sinner. But now that I switched partners, I do the same thing for the Lord. Man, it get me crazy. I, I be at work. Some don't understand. I to be at work, they look at the red stream. One guy said, Hey, he kept, he, I mean, every day, almost yeah. every I said, I got to give him the red stream. He don't know nothing about it, but it got to be something because he see it. He said, you think you can get me? I said, I don't think I can. Do you want one? He said, yeah. He said, tell your pastor, I want one. For the last three days, last week, he kept asking, 
And then Friday, he said, can you please don't forget about my red screen. So when I go to work Monday, <laughs> guess what I got from Not only the red screen, huh? Yes. Pastor fixed up a little kit for him. So not only he got the red screen, which is the faith, he got the prayer line, yes. call, yes. so he kind of hear the word. He got the blood of Jesus, the, the, the shed cloth of the apostles. He got more than just a red string. And that's just a blessing. You know, yes. on TV, they want to charge you for stuff like this. Yes. They want to charge you for all the regular water. They put in the thing, somebody, they hold the water. They want to charge you for all that. Yes. Amen? But you get it freely when an apostle comes to you, he bless you with it. That's a blessing. Yes. And I, since, since, since the word, I ain't bragging. <laughs> Last Sunday, Apostle messed about a, a week ago. Apostle was sawing out here. Sawing, I don't call it sawing. He was sawing his little red strain on his finger. I said, Lord, I'm so what do want to do? <laughs> hey, 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 sister. I said, I showed him what I want to do. I got in the car. <laughs> I got in the car. And I know he had him on him. I know he had the red strain. I said, Apostle. I saw we want to go to school. And I was my boy, he said, ask your son, your son, ask you to show me kids. Yes. I said, I ain't bragging, but I'm going to bleed bleed with the faith. Well, I said, I got this thing. I, I want to be like my apostle. I didn't know what God gave him. I watch all I want some of it. Don't leave me out. You, hey, I, you want, he got it. I want some of it yeah. too. I don't, you don't want to give it to me. I'll tell you. I know what it's about. Yeah. Huh? You had a, you had the last of the testimonies last time we were down here. You gotta go on YouTube watch the channel. It's on the, the videos or the sermons about the red screen. That that video just of the red screen, the testimony of the red screen, is on the spiritual Facebook page. It's on the YouTube. Go check them out. Yeah. A lot of red. Her son had a red right there for her son. So right there was it. He had obey with a cross about the red screen. Many others. I mean, I'm soft, though, if those on the way, they got just testimonies about this. It's not just not a red string. It's not just a bracelet, but you see kids make bracelets and put on. It's not that, that kind of bracelet. It's not a diamond gold, but it's different <coughs> when you put it on. Huh? But I told the father, Pastor, I want one of those. He said, okay. He, he heard me. He heard me. And I was driving over looking at the same time. Like, getting it together. Is it for me? And it's a son, can you hold on with him? I said, son, can I'm driving. <laughs> but it's just a point <coughs> that I walk behind my leaders. Yeah. And I know everything that man of God do is a meaning behind it. Amen. man, it's a meaning yeah. behind it. Whether we go Alabama, Florida, or down here in Carolina, I learned to tell my testimony. My because it ain't about showboat, but it's telling the goodness of God right. and what God has done for you. Yeah. God done something. Everybody, even time to little baby, he, everybody, God done something for you. He yeah. woke you up. You didn't wake yourself up this morning. God said, arise. When you open your yeah. eyes, arise. He allowed you to get up. Lord, so tell, and listen to us. Lord, I thank you for being in the house of the Lord. Tell him that. He's, he, he's listening. Yeah. He's here. Don't be ashamed. Yeah. You know, we, we're so ashamed of how people may feel. Man, I don't care what nobody think about me. You hear what I tell you? Got away. You think I care? Nah. Because when I got shot in 2008, when nobody dealt with me, me and God, that devil put the gun to my head, pulled the trigger. Oh, it wasn't nobody ever God. I was insane, huh? Insane, intoxicated. Said, "Shit, I just came from the club." But that day before, the the, the hours, the, the early part of the day before, my apostle, y'all hear me tell it out. I'm gonna tell it again because God brought me from a mighty long way. Yes. Amen. He sent a message to my mother, Vance, to watch you. You know my mother. And you know when your mama see your children, what she already do? She greet the children. Hey, man, mom didn't do that. She didn't say I love you. She didn't say give me a kiss, hug, neck, and she didn't breathe on. I'm telling you the truth. I heard her say the Wayne Daniel way in that room. She stood up there by when I went on the porch. She was standing by the mirror about looking. Yeah. She didn't say hi, I love you, nothing. She said I got a message for you. And I was listening. She said the man of God, Apostle David, said give him a call. My God. Before this song go down, the song was up. My God. Now imagine if I had a disobeyed pride or, uh, you know, imagine, imagine how to be disobedient and then come. You wouldn't hear me standing here today. I've been long gone in 2008. But I obeyed. And I knew it's a reason. And even though I was in sin, I was a sinner. I obeyed my leaders regardless. Yeah. Regardless, I still obeyed them. Amen. Praise God. But I fe feared 
them the most because I know they are real. I have seen people rant and mom said something and they, they, they gone. They ran the mouth on them and they not here. And I said they ran the mouth on them and they not here on the earth. No more. I see this. So I know it is the truth. So I hold the bag, I call the parson, and I can't remember all exactly the word for what he said, but I know he said, son, you better pray. I said, uh oh, I knew something. It had to be something. He said, you better pray, son. He said, son. I said, yes, sir. He said, son, I heard him. But it's a reason, a significant reason. He said, you better pray. And after that, I can't, like I, said, I can't remember the other word he said to me, but it encouraged me. After that, he hung up the phone, and that was it. So I, I remember, I can still see this there. I was sitting on the bed, I looked up on the ceiling, still doing what sinner do. But I obeyed. I began to press the Lord. I obeyed my mother. Uh, she sent the message, you sent the message from my pastor. He told me to pray, Lord, I'm praying because I'm being obedient. Whatever it is, Lord, protect me. Little did I know the same day, remember I told you, he said, call him before the sun go down. The sun, it went down. My Jesus. My God. I went to the club, I was in, did my little thing, I did the little music industry I was in and all that, and I got back to the house. Little did I know the devil himself went there to take my life. My I go in my door. Hey man, I seen, I know who the people did it. One was in the, one, both of them were kidding. One was in the front, and the other was in the back. And I know I said, hey, I didn't think that of it. I mean, I was in the top scatter. Went to go open the key to my room, and he going to get my key, that back door in with the gun, and we touched and this up, that up the hallway, and this. Listen, I thank God for me being alive. Praise God. Man. Because that he was bigger than I am, Sister Sheila. Huh? Hey man, he took the gun out. I seen I wasn't afraid. I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't scared of nothing. But when he, he pointed the gun to my leg, he pulled the trigger. If y'all know what a 40 is, the bullet is half a side. This is a 40 bullet. He pointed to my leg and he broke this. And when he shot me, it broke the femur, the femur, how you call it? Femur bone, that big bone in your leg. When he, it broke it in two. It broke in two. And I was able to touch the knee and touch my forehead. After the drill, I touched my head with the broken head. I went th thinking about the adrenaline in there. I couldn't make the fight. Blood was everywhere, praise God. But I still obeyed. I mean, with my apostle. And I thought about my apostle, Lord have mercy. I thought about my pastor. I thought about my mother, my unborn son, Christian, who 14 now and wasn't alive. And I was laying down that floor, sister, sister. I just laying there. Couldn't do nothing. Leg broke. The drilling, it was so high, I couldn't do nothing. And I said these exact words. This is how I'm finna go to hell. Mm -hmm. I said that. I didn't think, I wasn't thinking about no repentance. Because I, you know when you're drunk, you, everybody ain't drunk before. You know when you're drunk, you're intoxicated, you ain't in your right mind to fuck folks. I wasn't thinking about no Jesus, sister, woman of God. But this is exactly the words that I'm saying. I said, this is how I'm finna go to hell. Exactly the word I said. He pointed that God taught my forehead and these are the scars today to prove he did it. I closed my eyes and the trigger of the gun went off as the gun was pointed toward my hand. Make a long story short, praise God. The ambulance came. White lady, I remember. Hair was said, short, blonde hair. And she came, she did her own investigation. She said, wow, she said, you are blessed. But keep it in mind, he had the gun to my forehead and pulled the trigger. The ambulance, when she, the paramedic, when she came and she moved my head like this, there was a hole in the floor, but no hole in my head, and the bullet was stuck in the floor. Oh, you can't tell me. I knew every time I come off out in the world. Now imagine if I had a disobeyed that my apostle, my Jesus, Sister Willie. If I had a disobeyed apostle, if I had a made just a call, I wouldn't be here. Huh? I tell my apostle, but we go to medical, let's ride. We going. My son, I don't care. We go. I ain't got to worry about no check in. Pastor son, let's go. Let's go, Pastor. I pick up. Let's ride. I tell him, let's ride. We go anywhere we want to go. Yes. That's what he tell I follow him. Well, because I know he real. Yes. And if I had to disobey him, I wouldn't be him. But my that's my testimony. I'm going to continue to tell it.
tell it, tell it, tell it because God has done something for me. Yes. And God is awesome in my life and I'm happy. I just thank God we'll be back again. And like I said, well, don't worry about the crowd. That's why. Amen. Don't worry about the crowd. Amen. Because when you <laughs> think about this, when you go before God, it's you and God. Yes. And no crowd. Y'all know the words of prayer. Y'all continue to pray for me as I pray for the Lord in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 We thank Amen. God for Brother Wayne and the testimony. Hallelujah. We yes. thank God for sparing his life one yes. more time. Yes. And we know all of us have a purpose. Hallelujah. Yes. All of us have a purpose. Yes. Hallelujah. Here in this earth. And I just want to testify one quick minute. Um, and I give God praise, glory, and honor. Thank God for Jesus the Christ, the Son of the Living God. Yes. I thank God for the overseer of yes. Apostle Davis and yes. David. Um, thank God for them in the name of Jesus. And I thank God I've been here in the ministry, this pure church ministry. Yes. I've been here, I guess, maybe, I want to say maybe a little, a little bit shy of a month. And I haven't seen Apostle and Lady Pastor in a long time. Hallelujah. And it was one week God had put the man of God on my mind. For whatever reason, I don't know. I know. But for whatever reason, back then, it was God's business. So I was telling my children, I said, we're going to go and to Apostle Church. I, I don't know where the church is, but we're going to go. Because yeah. it's something that you know when you are real men and women of God. Yeah. You know, hallelujah. The Holy Spirit that's on the inside of you yeah. will let you know where realness is at. So I told my children, I said, we're going to go to the house of prayer. We're going to go to Apostle Church. Yeah. So I called up one of my cousins and I asked what the ministry was and I never heard anything back from her. And then I called my uncle. I said, well, uncle, I said, Uncle Eddie, do you know where Apostle Davis Church is? He said, I believe it's right there on somewhere on Tower Boulevard. Yeah. I believe it's somewhere. I said, okay. He said, somewhere on Tower Boulevard. There's a lot of places on Tower Boulevard. Yeah. So what I started doing, and I thank God for the Holy Ghost. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, yeah. I thank God for the Holy Ghost. So what I did, one day I was at home. Yeah. And you go right back, hallelujah, because I don't want to get out of track, because this is for somebody, hallelujah. I, what I did, I said, I, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and go to this other ministry. And then on that next week, we're going to go to Apostle David's church when I find out where it is. Yes. Let me tell you, we headed to this ministry. When we was on our way to that ministry, one of the sister called and said, nobody's at the ministry. I said, oh my God. Yeah. And you know, it's a terrible feeling when the house of a prayer is closed. Hallelujah. Yeah. When in these times, in these seasons, hallelujah, the house of a prayer needs to be full and the doors need to be open. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Because I know I'm hungry. Hallelujah. I'm thirsty. Hallelujah. Yeah. For the truth. Hallelujah. Yeah. The truth will make us free. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. So when we, she called and told us the ministry was not open. And I told the children, I said, mm. It's about almost about 12 o'clock. I said, they probably getting ready to go. So what we'll do, we'll go next week. So I got home, and I said, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to Google. Hallelujah. Thank God for Google. I Google pure church. Hallelujah. I, first of all, I Google. I said, Apostle David. That's what I did. Yeah. And then I, a Facebook popped up. Yeah. Pure church. I said, there it is right there. <laughs> There it is. So it was the yes. address on there. So we got that following week, many children, yes. we got dressed, and we came to the ministry, and we were sitting out there. I said, hmm, what about you? So I said, I ain't leaving. I said, I'm going to call this number. Yeah. That, that number wasn't working. So I went back on that website again, and I called a pop to answer the phone. Yes. Thank God for phone. Thank God for a pop. Yes. He answered the phone. He yes. said, they'll be there soon. He said, they'll be there soon. He said, don't you go nowhere. I said, no, sir, we ain't going nowhere. Hallelujah. Yes. And it's good to obey. Hallelujah. Yes. Because obedience is better than sacrifice. Hallelujah. Yes. And I said to my God, hallelujah. I said, I will not go anywhere. Hallelujah. That your spirit is not there. Jesus, I just feel a change, hallelujah. I just feel a change, 
The king is coming, hallelujah. Yes. That's been resonating with me this week, hallelujah. The king is coming. No man know the day or the hour, but the king is coming. Who Jesus. So I give God praise, I give God glory, mm. and I give God honor, hallelujah. Hallelujah for the word, because we're getting the word. We are getting the word. Yeah. The pastors, Pastor David, Pastor David, they are feeding us the word. Yeah. In these days, everything else is going to pass away, yeah. but the word of God, the word of God is going to stay in hallelujah. Yeah. In these last and evil days, the Bible, this word, is fulfilling itself. It is fulfilling itself, and I'm going to get out of the way because I'm so excited, hallelujah, what the Holy Spirit is going to do, what the Holy Spirit is doing right now in this house, hallelujah. Yeah. It don't take a crowd, saints, hallelujah. Yeah. It don't take a crowd. He said, well, two and three, come together in his name, hallelujah. It's going to come today, hallelujah. When one the one come together, and they will be able to. He said, work the work of him that he sent right in his day. Yeah. Yes, Lord. We praise God today, hallelujah. We praise God, hallelujah. The king is coming. The king is coming. You better tell your brother, your sisters, hallelujah. Your children, your aunt, your uncles, hallelujah. Your cousins, that the king, he is coming. Jesus is coming, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Yes. He's coming back, church. He's coming back, church. This is a serious thing right here. This thing is serious, hallelujah. It's a great falling away, hallelujah. Yeah. It is a great falling away. And these are believers, hallelujah, that are falling away, hallelujah. But we are here to stand, hallelujah. We're going to stand, hallelujah. Yeah. In these last and evil days. Thank God for the signs, the wonders, and the miracles that I have seen, hallelujah. Yeah. Not only can we just talk it, hallelujah, but we have seen the signs and the miracles and the wonders that take place in the house of prayer, hallelujah. To God be the glory. Come on, let's give my hand clap of praise. Come on, let's glorify him, hallelujah. Come on, let's bless him, hallelujah, Jesus. Come on, bless his name, hallelujah, yeah. for he is so worthy. He is so worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And at this time, hallelujah, we're going to go ahead, hallelujah, and uh, continue to allow the Lord go ahead with testimonies in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We thank God for being here. We thank God for the apostle and his praise and for Jesus. Um, I just want to say, down through the years, I've known the apostle since I was a little girl. Mm -hmm. um, but he never changed. And that, that's one thing about him. A, a real man of God that yeah. never changed. He called me anytime, and it's always the same. He's always yeah. the same. Um, like Dwayne was saying, my my son was in a car accident, mm -hmm. and I had given him the strength. I think the week before, I think it was the week before. Mm -hmm. um, he's twenty five. He said things. He put it on, and he kept going. Well, that morning it was foggy. That morning, the little girl was in a truck, a big truck, mm -hmm. and she hit his car. And it knocked him across the road into the water. His head slammed into the windshield. He walked away with not one scratch. Hey, so he had hey, 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 hey. Uh, this is testimony after testimony. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, and the prayers of the righteous of in his blood. Yes. yes. Anyone know the words of prayer to pray my strength? Yes, Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, we Lord. give God praise and glory for your son, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus, obedience yeah. is better than sacrifice, hallelujah. Yeah. A lot of times we don't understand things, hallelujah. That's right. But it's the obedience, hallelujah. That's to right. God be the glory. We just thank God for the prayers, even throughout this week, hallelujah. Yeah. For the prayer every day of the week. We are without excuse, men and women of God. Yeah. We are without excuse. The word of God goes for us every day. Yeah. Prayer goes through every Lifting the man up, but we lifting the man yeah. that's on the inside. The man. Jesus. The Spirit, hallelujah. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. The Bible did take your honor where honor is due, hallelujah. Yeah. So it is due to this effort, hallelujah. This will is effort, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And we pray God. We're going to keep on praying our leaders, amen. Yeah.
The Holy Spirit, he keeps us. Yeah. He keeps us from all our um, danger, sickness, or diseases. He is the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. We love God praise. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Be yourself in Jesus. Be yourself in Jesus. Don't try to be like anybody else. Hallelujah. Because you're going to mess it up. Hallelujah. Be who the Holy Spirit has called yeah. you to be. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So I honor God. I honor God. Hallelujah. I honor the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Just open up this afternoon. Just open up. Hallelujah. And allow him to come on in and do that work. Hallelujah. That he want to do on the inside of us. Because he is preparing us, y'all. He preparing us to go out. Into yeah. the edges and the highways and the byways. Yeah. He is preparing us in yeah. the name of Jesus. Yeah. The harvest is plentiful yeah. out there, yes, but the laborers are few. But we are ready. Hallelujah. Yeah. We are ready. Hallelujah. We are ready. Hallelujah. We are ready. We are ready. Jesus. He told Gideon, he don't take all that. He don't take all of those things. Yeah. Hallelujah. He don't take a few. Hallelujah. Yeah. Because a lot of people get in your way in the way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Testimony. Hallelujah. Yeah. Come on, let's tell on the goodness of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah, so. Because the more you tell, hallelujah, the more he's going to bless you. Hallelujah. Yeah. He said, if you be a shame, hallelujah, before me and yes, down right. on this earth, I'm going to be a shame before you. Hallelujah. Yes. In front of my Father. Hallelujah. Yeah. If That's the Lord right. did anything for you, you ought to tell it. Amen. In the name of Jesus, and we give God glory. We thank God for the ones that's on Facebook today. Come yes, on, yes. let's give God praise for them. Hallelujah. The word is going forth everywhere. In all four corners of this earth, we thank God that the word is going forth in the name of Jesus. Yes. And we glorify him on today. Hallelujah. Testimony, testimony. Amen. 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 Come on, let's just put your hands together for Jesus one more time. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Jesus. Amen. 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 This time we get ready. Hmm? Hallelujah. At this time we get ready to turn it over to Apostle. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Keep on, keep on, keep it on. Keep it on. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I, I don't worry about no crowd. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. I don't worry about a crowd. Only thing I do is to worry about obedience. Lift your hands up and tell him, thank you, Jesus. And then say, well, there are two or three. Yeah. He would be in the mix. Yeah. And thank God for the over two or three. Yeah. And I know that he's in the mix. Yeah. Amen, my good God. Thank you, one of God. I say that was awesome. God always got a ram in the bush. The reason I don't worry about trials, I just catch that big arrow playing in. I go there and they'll put me in first class. And I will come and somebody say, You're going to a revival? A lot of folks that's not going to where Jesus told me to go. And I will go even to home. That's the way from Florida. Just that big 40, old 47. Do what God say, Praise God. And catch it and go back and go back to work on Monday. I came out to let you know when we prepare ourselves for the king, they were about no crowd. This is a sub journey. You may be seated if you can. Because I know that Jesus is coming. Thank you to the William family and to you that moving around and making sacrifices and come rain, sneak of snow and Thank God for you, Thank you Lord. Minister Wayne, and yeah. to the action of our pastor, I know why she's not here. Yeah. And to our sister pastor. Yeah. But I'm here! Yeah. Jesus, I'm here! Yeah. He got in the crowd.
coming up this morning. So did apostle. <laughs> God spoke to my heart. Woo! Jesus, Jesus. I told him what to do last night when I was praying. And I got and I began to obey. And I got in the car and I began to obey and obey and this. I can just feel the lift your hands. Oh shut up. Yeah. I can just feel the presence of the Lord. And I obeyed just a while ago. I started obeying him. But what he told me, he said, release it. And I did release it. And he said, release these other. I'm gonna release them. I don't care if you're sick, you can be healed. Come up and come. And God can restore you. Because when we take honor from the thing, we can't go wrong. Yeah. Don't let alone say, don't you, I, I don't you worry about that. Mm -hmm. You just come and do what I say. Mm -hmm. I went on my birthday to see about my daddy. Yeah. The king. Who had all the power in his hand. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So I know the king is coming. And if it comes to, I, I want to release it. I got to release it. Come on now. And when I release it, it's up to you to keep it. That's right, Apostle. Let me release it. I release it in the name of Jesus. See, I'm getting ready for the king. Thank God for Minister Wayne as we was riding this morning. Yes, Lord. Coming, amen. In, in, in the same blessing that was stolen. Yes. Unto him, praise God. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Right, Apostle. My the God, my God. God. It's coming. It's coming. Yes. He's coming looking for a church. The best part of it. Every eye shall see. Yes. Every tongue shall confess. <laughs> and every knee shall bow. Oh, no. Ah, they're going to be torn. Look at that, look at that, look at that. He said, release it. And everyone that make the contact. Yes, Amen. Amen. I don't care what comes. See, the king done been by here. That's right, apostle. The king yeah. is coming. Yeah. And his name is Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. The king. Hallelujah. Things. She's 13 years of age, and the Lord said, Now, tie one on her hand. Now she praying, she praying better. She, 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 she praying the organ at church. So is the boss, yes. Amen. Let's not talk about my show, y'all. Come on, y'all. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hey! Yes. The king is coming. Yes. You know what? First time I came and released one, it got tangled up in the same watch. Sure How can it get tangled up in here? He did, Apostle. Oh, oh, he did. The king is coming. Look at it. Now, ain't that something? The king is coming. Amen. They thought they were bringing gifts unto the king. But the greatest gift they got from the king. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God. The king Glory. is coming looking for a church without a spot or wrinkle. Every eye shall see, every tongue shall confess, and the knee shall bow. And those that are looking at this, don't you think there's no hokey pokey now? Because Harold thought he was doing something to sin. Tell them wise men to go and find the king. Yes. See, all the two-year-old babies, yes. he was killing them. Yes. But when he got to the king, my God, look at and I still got my one left. <laughs> well, he put him on there. Yes, and I got my one left. Yeah. Don't worry, I, I got some for y'all too. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to leave y'all. Because God said, have no respect to them. 
person. Christian. Yes, Lord. In church, that's, that's something right there. Don't let me leave out without putting on it. That's something. Something. I tell you how he came in that car this morning. Yes, he did, Apostle. Hmm. My God. Mm -hmm. The last time he was here, he wasn't riding that kind of car. Sure wouldn't, Parson. <laughs> That's right, Parson. But God did that. And that God did it. Mm -hmm. What he did for him, he do it for you. That's right. That's me, I don't worry about no crime. Oh, I'm not that right, Parson. Because everywhere I go, I can't go with me. Yeah. And his name is Jesus. Told Chris Gottman they can't come. They thought they were bringing gifts unto the king, but they got the best gift any human can have yeah. when you receive Jesus Christ as your Savior. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so My God, something happened to me in that car. Something happened to me this morning. Jesus. Something happened to me. Something happened to me. Yes, it did. Come back. I know what I told you to do for my child. I know what I told you to do when you got up. I told you now you got to go and do what I say do if you mm. do it. I don't say because I don't show you too many miracles. I don't show you that all you got to do is ask and I do it. Don't you want to go back and cry? Yeah. Man. Thank you, Jesus. That's a powerful. That's a powerful because she said peace in the name of Jesus. Peace in the name of Jesus. If he give you peace, he give you peace in the home, in the body, in the mind. Right out of sleep on the job, wherever you are, and I want you to take one today. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Thank you. Jesus Christ is the same. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, pray. Yes, Lord. The Bible said in Matthew. For son, and thy shall call his name Jesus. Jesus. But that might say Emmanuel, which means to save the people from their sin. It's time to cry out like you never cried out before. Yes, yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Look out in that a devil and a demon. And trying to freak one for the other. They did, Apostle. Sure did. <laughs> you can get ready. And y'all can hear on this day, on the 10th of December. Yes, What's Lord. that demon that you release out of there? Let's start, boy. <laughs> There's devils, angels that come from heaven. They would strike to hell. And Paul said, he didn't lose to them when he lose to Satan. My God. My God. Lord told me now when I get 83 years old, I got to tell you, I don't care who don't want to hear it. Yeah. I know who's paying my life. Yes, Lord. 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 That which is in your womb is all God. Holy Ghost. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit and Holy Ghost is the same. The Bible said in Acts 1 and 8, after that the Holy Ghost come upon you, you shall receive power. Yes. Yeah. I'll testify. I like to walk because when I walk, you talking to me. It's all right, Apostle. <laughs> talking to me when I walk. Yes. Yes. The king. Isn't that something? Yeah. He didn't come full grown. But he came as a baby. Yeah. The Bible said in John 3.16 uh -huh. For God so loved the world He gave his only begotten son. Yeah. There was a significant purpose why God Amen, came in his word. That's right. Would y'all read it? Because I find it read it so you know it. Mm. He is the word. In John 1 1, what did he say? In the beginning was what? The Word. And the Word was who? God. He's who? God, God. in the Word. Yeah. Mm. He's the Word. Yes. 
Genesis 1 26 said, Let us go down there. Make man in <laughs> our own image. Hey, that's something. He come down. God the Father. God the Son. Yeah. God the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And then Christ John Pine, the Son. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. They say, The Holy Ghost, all three years. Why? Why? Yes, Lord. The claim started coming through. It's just like Genesis, it started coming. Come on, boss. He comes up. He's coming. He's coming, yeah. Come on, 26 say, Let us do that one and make man. In our own image. In our own image. Who is that? God the Father? God the Son. God the Son. Got the Holy Spirit. Got the Holy Spirit. Yes, yes. Which is all three in one. one. Yes. Then Jesus said, I mean you. You and me. I'm in the Father. Yes, and we are one. Yes, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. That means you haven't been to let your heart be trouble. Right. In my father's house, 14 and 1. Let not your heart be trouble. Yes, Lord, in my heart of men and nature. If you run out soon, I'm going to have told you, but I go to prepare a place for you. Yes. Did he say he was coming again? Yes, he did. He said it. He coming. He did a king. You see, you see, you see the king. Well, let me go back to the big car. He said, open up and he said, well, I want you to walk, but I'll give you the word and let him know where you're coming from. Right, apostle. Because he said in Matthew 3, 10, he said, he said, open up your mouth and I'll do what? Speak for you. Speak for you. So I speak for you. Yeah. I got you opening it up. Yeah. That's how you was opening up your mouth. What about you? That's right, Apostle. I told the man this morning, man, God, it ain't not us. Yeah, because Roman right. 8 and 9 picked it up. Yeah. Say, say, hey, hey, hey. When the Holy Ghost comes in, you ain't the same no more. Not the boss. Mm -hmm. That's the definition of the statue of you. Mm. But you don't have that same name. He said, old things passed away. Now you become new. Come on now. Talking about the Holy Spirit. Yes. The King is coming. God coming. Ah, my, 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 my. You, 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 see, you see him coming? Yes. See, he ain't just see. He's coming. Yes, he's coming. Yes, he is. Let me, let me go back a little bit. In Genesis 1-1, hmm. it shows us that how the Lord allowed Satan and those angels to come to the earth. Mm. And then they obeyed him. Mm. They did. Uh, uh, Genesis 1 and 1, it'll show you about the flood. That's right. The first flood, when God put the water on the earth, and the spirits couldn't stay there with those angels. Mm hmm. And then there was another flood in Nora where the whole earth was covered. My Lord. Wow. Now everybody that went in the ark could survive. Wow. Doom, Apostle. My God. Uh -uh, I'm see, he's coming now. He's coming. He's coming. He's, 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 he's coming. Yes. He can see. He, he's coming. He said, now, I, I, I'm coming. I went to two and seven of Genesis. <laughs> oh. And I took the DUST dust. Yes. D U S T dust. Dust. Mm -hmm. And when God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit came down, stuck by to himself. And the authority of the power of God. Yes, yes Lord. Don't you know who God is in? You are part of God. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It was God in that dust. Mm -hmm. God the Father. Mm -hmm. God the Son. God the Holy Spirit. Look, look at the hands of church. So. This strange here. This strange. Yes, yeah, Apostle. This, this strange, y'all. Oh, yeah, my God. I, I, I see. I see how I preach the one or two. Big audience. I see it's coming, church. Right? Yeah. He's going to prepare. Now, if you can't even do a little thing, how you going to do it? Big thing, that's right. Can't you, can't you see how 
You gotta be happy. Thank you. Ain't bitch in no university? Mm. They need no psychiatry. They need nothing but obedience. Yeah. Of the thing. Mm. Everything in obey the thing. Because he is God. Yes, Lord. Like the Father, like the Son, like the Holy Spirit. But you say, the Holy Spirit, a Holy Ghost, and act in one way. The Holy Ghost said in one part of the Son of the First John. All three. Fine, fine, won't you fine. She said, I walk, you feed me. Right, Apostle. Yeah. He said, in 10 and, 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 and 14, how can you hear without a preacher? Man. Unless you make by 13, verse 10 and 13, for whosoever shall call the name of the Lord. See, when you say, see, automatically when you say it, something just comes in your heart or your mind, your spirit. So I got to find, I'm hungry for this. Yeah. I want this. Because see, I'm talking to the world. The world is in it to God, and they don't know this. Thank you, Jesus. Hmm. If we know that, why can't yeah, turn around? So, yeah, he, he started coming. Don't you see that again? From the 42 generation, the king is coming. Look over the situation. He said, I won't see man no more. Man is supporting him with you and woman. And the serpent. He knows something how the serpent, the spirit of Satan, had got in the, in the snake. Right, Apostle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And you got humans got snakes for pets. Right. <laughs> My God. I'll never forget this man had this snake for a pet. And they just had this loose bone baby. Lord have mercy. Pop -pop. Mm. When they got up, the Popeye had them eat up, swallow the baby. Oh, this happened, church. This is. My, my God. Don't swallow the baby. You ain't got no baby petting no devil. Say that again. I don't know that was right a person. The October is sitting in this church. I don't know that right, Paul. The pain is coming. Yeah. Yes. No, that right. Hmm. Daddy looked upon all that he gave unto our knowledge. You got doctors of all kinds of universities that they don't have the knowledge in Adam. Yes. Right now, if they do surgery on you, they got to kick in and open it up. Yes. yes. But God still said the real something yes. real from Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 Give me this, uh, amen. Amen. Hey, you're good, God. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. He didn't need no anesthesia. So he up. Mm -hmm. He spoke. There she was. Yes. The kingdom didn't die there. Amen. He's coming. Himself. Come yourself, amen. The Bible said in the book of Luke, the second chapter, verse 21. His name is called Jesus, the name of the angel already in the heaven. My God. Our church. Uh, when I woke up, thank you for feeding me. Thank you. Thank you, good God. Yes. There's no other name you can be saved by unless it. That's it. Full name is C H O I S T. Christ. Christ. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Jesus Christ. No other name. No other name. See? You're here. Yes. Need a friend? You're a friend. You're a friend to you. It's not going to be being lonely. Y'all are so glory here. Glory. The king. We come here quickly. Ah, uh, you don't know what you did, Mom of God, come out here and obey him today. Huh. Thank you. You don't know what you did, son. You don't know what you oh, did. Yes, I did. Yeah. You don't know what you did. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, 
Lord. Obey. Somebody on the field of peace said the king is coming. The king is coming. My Lord. And I want to be there. I want to be there. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me, look at the church. The dust part of rain. Instead of putting this like I built my church in it. Get some hair. Shut up. Now look at that. Somebody come in this church. He ain't talking about this building. When we walk out of here, it's still there. Yes, sir. When we don't like the light, we don't like the home. Right. Say, I got to go. Think through 42 generations of the king. I like this kind of teaching. Yes. I like this. Yes. I got to go down now. Uh -huh. <laughs> But when I go down, I got to come in the baby. And I got to pick me somebody. Who do you know? How old are you? Yeah. When baby started at 12, she fell between 12 and 15 years old. Hmm. Bad 
is wishing in her ah! is of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. So Joseph, we're going to be like the truth. People dream it. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to set this up at the same time and go by Elizabeth, who could. Pella Zacharias. Right. When the baby come, the name is John. That's some hard head means. <laughs> means man. Man is supposed to be the glory. The glory of God is a man. That's right, And the glory of a of a woman, man is a woman. Oh, man. And the glory of a woman is a high. Yes. Good. That's where God. I ain't doing but God made him dumb. They were told the same angel. We too. Oh, That's right, Apostle. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. But when the king comes, mm -hmm. and you be submissive and obey, yeah. God favor. Yeah. When you God favor, don't you know the devil don't like you? Mm -hmm. And folks around you don't like you? Right. Sometimes you can't folks take stand. Oh, Sometimes in the house they take stand. Oh, On the job they take stand. Oh, The king has come. Sit now. If you got the favor of you, chosen you, what you worry about the enemy for? The angel spoke to Joseph and said, Remove your wife. I came by to tell you, now Joseph, this is of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. yeah. I know you do wedding, you know, wedding and you're married. And, but Joseph, yeah. don't you do anything to upset her. Yeah. Nothing. My Lord. Nothing. Isn't there something? After she had Jesus, she had four more boys. And three girls. Yes. And with Jesus, that made a total of eight. Yes, Lord. The kingdom come. He go. He, he, he. Jesus. Jesus. Let me tell y'all something. I don't care who don't hold your hand. I don't care who don't talk to you. I don't care who don't turn their back on you. Do you know the king is brother? <laughs> now, since you have experienced me, I want you to go and witness to your cousin Elizabeth. Isn't that something? He don't have no respect for her person. I'm speaking something to you or you or you. Not to brainwash you, but to let you know if he did for you or you or you, he can do it for anybody. Right. If he obey. Yeah. Yeah. Obedient is the key to unlock the door. Obedient. Obedient. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, not come up here. I read the old one. But maybe you and you. Grab right. right. me. To her. Isn't that something? Roman 8, Roman 8 and 9. Read it for me. See, when the Holy Ghost comes, you you got to obey. Mm -hmm. He's in charge. That's right. Look at woman of God. God bless her. She's in charge. Ain't nobody getting angry. Amen. Six years old. Mm -hmm. He that raised up Christ from the dead shall also 
quicken your mortal body by his spirit that dwelleth in you. It's the spirit of God is in us. Yes. Missionary, children, yes. whoever it is, yes. don't you be quick in your body. You'll be obedient of me today. Yes, yes. I can tell you something about this little body here, 83 years old. Now look at you, uh-uh. Now you think he's just going to go outside and eat him a little sandwich and don't kind of bother me? You think the devil going to go and eat a bologna sandwich and don't bother me? He won't come at me because he knows when God tells me something, now I can freeze over. And you know how I ain't going to freeze over. Let me say it again for y'all to think I'm cussing. I said, when God tells me something, hell can freeze over. You know, hell ain't going to freeze over. So look at all that lava coming out there in that, on that island. He'll burn that little dress, that little uh, skirt up. They had nothing in there. <laughs> they can't put it out. It's coming out of hell. That's a hell. Give me an indication what hell will be after a while. Did not he say it's going to rain 40 days and 40 nights? Do you see all this water falling and all kind of stuff flooding? The houses being washed in the water? Won't be warm, but fire in that time. So when the Holy Spirit come, you got to obey. Mm -hmm. You have to take this same teaching mm -hmm. and wake up a lot of church folks. Mm -hmm. You can't, you can't. Because if you add anything and take away, you're going to deal with it. Mm -hmm. Touch him. The king, the king is coming. says he's coming. Yes, he's coming. When the king comes, there's a witness. Come to me and don't come to you when that ain't the one thing. Mm. One word. One Holy Spirit. Yes. One Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes. I know there's many names come to say Jesus, but they ain't my Jesus. Because yes. <laughs> I ain't seen all them go to the cross yes. and be crucified. Mm -hmm. But I'm talking about God in the Word. That came by. Any time the Holy Ghost of you, there will be another witness. Yes. It's the Holy Spirit. Yes. Now, if you don't have the Holy Spirit in you, can't witness about the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, as soon as she got there early that morning, Dr. Mm -hmm. and Elizabeth mm -hmm. said, the Holy Ghost, Jesus. How can it be in a, a dead room? Jacob said, Surely! Oh! Everything the Lord do, He purified. Yes, He does, yeah. I was a wretch on the one. He can purify. When he stepped in, he wasn't Elizabeth, it was the Holy Spirit. He was Mary, the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Stepped in. That goes to show you. Why was he gone? He couldn't speak. Until he omitted, called the name of John. God got a witness somewhere. To tell somebody. I heard of that church. Mary witnessed the Holy Spirit. Elizabeth witnessed the Holy Spirit. Joseph heard. And then the angel. So was Zacharias. Zacharias. Whatever the name is. He heard it. Joseph woke up. Jesus. I gotta put her away find me. You can't put me away deep for me. How are you gonna put me somewhere that hold those in me? The king. The king. Come. He come. He come. He come. I'm on earth now. Listen, listen. You'll hear it. Doctors and lawyers. Those of high authority. And they just play up. Sit around and they got a maze. They went to the university and did all the study. And didn't know that. He didn't come and 
Let me go back because when he comes, some demon always trying to stop the truth. Let me say again. Some demon always trying to stop the truth. He said the truth shall make you free. For whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. When you're saved, I ain't saying I ain't gonna hide it. Ain't no demon or devil gonna stop you to show that I'm saved. And sometimes you come on the cross of thing too. Trying to block you out. Trying to hurt you. Say things to you. You can't because you don't need it anymore. Ain't that something? And one thing about the king, he don't have no respect for a person. Ain't that something? For years, they said a woman's supposed to be quiet. And the Bible says the last shall be first. And the first shall be <laughs> Glory, glory, glory. Thy sons and daughters shall come aside. Old men shall be. See, he is the God. The king, born in a state, all these rich folks, the richest men on the earth, they say, they got the best of the little babies that come on girl of all. And here, my Jesus, up the world. Hallelujah. My Jesus, my Savior, my Lord, my way back.
But the Lord flooded the earth. Yes. Now the king didn't come, church. That's right. He did something. You, 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 you got it. You, you, you got it that you can clean it up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, Jesus. Uh oh. Uh oh. Can I use the three of y'all? Yes, sir. You sure? Yes, sir. You sure? You sure? I think so. You know, you got the baby. You got the suction of the baby. You take the baby. Son, I know you're young. 
But I heard him say, release one of these to you. I don't care what may appear. Huh? He said what? Peace in the name of Jesus. See. The world can't give you peace. But Jesus can give you peace. Peace. peace.